Hello, I am Vishnu. I bought this Intel mini computer a couple of months ago and reviewed it. In the comments, some of you asked me how to update the BIOS and the drivers of this NUC. This video is about that and the same instructions apply to all computers equipped with motherboards made by Intel. I will keep it brief. Let's get into it. The NUC comes with Windows 11 pre-installed. The OS will fetch generic drives via Windows Update from time to time, but some drivers such as those for SD card reader are not available via Windows Update. Besides, the BIOS will never be updated as a part of regular process. This is the reason we need to fetch the drivers and BIOS directly from Intel. Fortunately, the process is fairly simple. Boot your NUC, open the browser and head over to downloadcenter.intel.com. Click Get Started. Intel has a tool to detect the exact model that you have. It is called Intel Driver Support Assistant or DSA in short. Download the application and install it. The software will automatically identify the model and scan your system for available driver updates. Once it has finished, DSA will show you the full list of available driver updates. If you want to verify, here is your computer's model number. You can click download all. Once that's done, click install all. This will take some time. But at the end of it, you have the latest drivers on your mini PC. Just give it a reboot and the new drivers will load into action. Did you know that the mini PC has a GNA scoring accelerator module? It speeds up audio applications such as speech recognition, freeing up the NUC CPU. You need to enable it in the BIOS though. Search for it in the BIOS. Treasure hunt time. Updating the BIOS is a different ball game altogether. My advice is not just for the Intel mini PCs, but for all computers in general. As a rule of thumb, if everything is working as intended, do not update the BIOS. You should consider it only when you run into a problem when attaching any peripherals, or when there is a newly discovered security exploit or when the manufacturer says that there will be a performance upgrade when you update the BIOS. The reason I'm cautioning you is because if the BIOS update goes wrong, you will end up with a computer that's practically unusable. What can go wrong? Well, it can be the wrong BIOS file, the power can fail during the BIOS update, or you might shut the computer off in panic. So do it only if you're comfortable with it. That said, it is very easy to update the BIOS if done right. Again, this will work for all computers equipped with Intel motherboards. Here's how to go about it. Connect your computer to a UPS and boot it. Run the Intel Driver Support Assistant program. It will scan the machine and tell you the model number of the computer along with the date of the current BIOS. Copy the model number and remember the date. Head over to Google and search for the model number. Open the product page on intel.com. Re-verify your motherboard number and head over to Downloads. View details of the latest BIOS update. Models with similar motherboards have the same BIOS as well. Check if the release date of the available BIOS is newer than the one that is on your computer. If so, download the .bio file to your local drive. Now plug in a USB drive to the computer. Size is not an issue. BIOS files are usually small. In this case, only 11 MB. Format the USB drive as FAT32 because BIOS usually cannot read NTFS file systems. Now paste the .bio file that you downloaded into the USB drive and reboot the computer. Get into the BIOS by keying F2. Once you are in, press update or F7. Look at the .bio file. It will be on one of the connected storage devices. Finally, say yes to flash the new BIOS. Here's the important bit. Do not disturb the machine till the process is complete. It will take anywhere up to 10 minutes. Go drink a glass of milk, play cricket, arm wrestle, do whatever you want. But do not interrupt the process. In a short time, the computer will reward your patience. It now has a newer BIOS. It cannot fly to Mars maybe, but will keep running flawlessly for the time being. Generally, when you update the BIOS, you should reset the settings to defaults and adjust them again according to your requirements. Once booted, you can run DSA again to check and it will show you the release date of your latest BIOS. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. 
It's holidays for me now and I have plenty of time on hand. So I will answer each of your questions with pleasure. Thanks and have a great time. This is Arjun and Vishnu signing off.